Hey, how's it going guys? It's Eric, I did wanna make this video. If you are learning and wanting to lose weight or any way to lose fat or just be more dedicated to your fitness goals, watch this video, we will cover seven habits to lose weight naturally. Now, when it comes to losing weight or anything fitness related, you do have to have a specific goal in mind or some sort of focus on why you're doing what you're doing. Uh, which we will cover later in this video, but it's it's good to have a good core principles set in place, a sense of rules basically, which kind of give you your guidance and your your area of focus. So the very first one we'll cover is you have to eat clean foods. When you eat clean foods, you're going to give yourself a much like more clean diet and you don't feel so groggy throughout the day. It's not to say you can't have your pizzas and your hot dogs and your hamburgers, but if you really do want to lock in on your, your overall fitness goals, you are going to have to cut out the junk and it, and it sucks because you know it tastes so good. Most of the time I make this joke where the things that taste the best are never the best for you, but it really does come down to you know are you eating the right things and you can easily substitute the good tasting junk food for good tasting healthy food and it you'll notice you can eat way more of it because it's healthier and therefore you get to eat more right but you also have to just watch your the amount that you're eating because you don't want to go overboard with it but you can eat anything that's essentially found in a garden or um, a farm anything like that typically if it's something advertised on tv you might want to stay away from it so you know, obviously your chips, your sodas, your pizzas, your processed foods, your sugars, those are typically no-nos. Um, but if you guys do want to see a better idea of what specifically you can eat, I'll post a link in the description below. Now, the second thing you want to do when you're making sure you're keeping your fitness goals on track is you want to strength train using weights specifically or more of a resistance-based training. It doesn't specifically have to be weights, but you will see much greater results when you use some sort of weights. Um, now this could be from you know dumbbells, barbells, whatever the case. Typically, you wanna go for a more challenging weight based on your body size and body type because for me, uh, a challenging weight is around like 240 pounds on bench press. For you guys, it could be 500 pounds. It could be 130 pounds. It doesn't uh, have to be one set in stone rule, but there are ways to track the weights that you're using. And if you have no idea on the routines you can use, there's, there's thousands of videos out there, but I can recommend an app that I use to work out. The one is called Jeffit. It is J-E-F-I-T, found on the app store, most likely on Android as well. You can track your workouts there and, and you can really lock in on like your progress and kind of make sure that you're, you're heading in the right direction. So basically one of the cool things about it is you can send in your workouts for the week. Now, after the week is done, you can see that next week, if you had those same workouts that, that next week, you can see what weight you had lifted previously, and you could even uh, do even more weight than that the next time. So if I'm doing 145 pound bench press of eight reps the next week, who knows, maybe I do 155 pounds of eight reps as well, so therefore, an increase in weight. So I see that my progress is is going up, which is awesome. So when you measure things, you're able to see your progress much more clearly and you can see it on paper. So it's a better way to do that using apps like Jeffit to do this. The third way that your habits can become a normal part of your daily routine in order to lose weight is you start to use more cardio training as well. So obviously you have your strength training. That's kind of the core foundation of your uh, routine for exercise, you wanna mainly focus on building muscles so that it burns more calories and increases your metabolism faster, but you do have to pair that with cardio because cardio is just a natural part of life and you're gonna be doing it on a daily basis. So you do wanna have some sort of thing that, that can get you through your day quicker because you, you've seen bodybuilders that aren't athletic at all. Cardio kind of provides that extra advantage to that aspect. So it could be anything from walking for 15 minutes, for doing HIIT training, you know, high intensity interval training, 
or uh, jogging around the neighborhood, a great app for, for running. Personally, I don't like to run too much, but if you do uh, Nike Run, they have an amazing app that I started using uh, a couple months ago, and it's been great. It kind of kind of guides you on your runs. You can track stuff. Again, what you measure, you can make more progress with quicker. Um, that's kind of the, the app that I use for running specifically, but there are plenty other things that you can do out there to just get more cardio in, and it doesn't have to be just running. You can do you know some uh, push-ups, just jumping jacks, kind of get moving more. But whatever the case is, you do have to just get more cardio in your in your system, maybe twice a week, maybe three times a week, nothing specific, just focus more on having cardio to supplement your strength training. The fourth way that your habits can get you to lose weight faster is by getting moving more. Now, this means those moments when you're at the house kind of relaxing, watching TV, it's a better idea to be stretching during those moments, maybe sitting on a BOSU ball or a yoga ball, uh, something that is more mobile and active than just being stationary and uh, staying put. So one thing I'll do is if I start to feel like I'm getting tired around the house, I might stand up for a second, kind of get my energy going again. I try to, I try to stay moving throughout the day so that you know it doesn't start to slow down and, and kind of uh, lose my progress throughout the day. I want to keep that momentum going through the end of the day. The second I lay my head on the pillow, I know that I maximize the, the potential for the day. So you do want to keep moving and just get your energy going throughout the day. It's going to make your day a lot more productive overall. The fifth way your habits can help you lose weight faster is by tracking what you do, your calories or your portions. Personally, I don't track my portions because I feel like that's more of a one size fits all mentality where you, if you want to lose weight, you have to have four ounces of protein, like eight ounces of carbs, whatever the numbers are, everyone's different. But typically what I'll see is they have these um, people in the, in the forums or the, these gurus that say you have to have four ounces of protein a meal. And I feel like it should be more focused on just how much you're eating throughout the day because four ounces of protein for me is fine, but for someone three times my size, they may need more. But everyone's saying that you have to have only four ounces, it just doesn't make sense. So personally, I like to track my calories and I do this mainly by, I do have to track my portion size on a scale, but I use that scale measurement to go into calories specifically so that I give myself a total range throughout the day. So let's say I'm using a 2000 calorie limit per day. I know that if uh, I have a, a box of cookies, which I don't always eat only on my cheat day, which is Saturday, which I would highly recommend everyone have. On Saturday, I have a box of cookies, it's 500 calories. I know I have 1500 calories left. So it gives myself a range that now I know that I can no longer um, splurge, I guess I usually give myself about 500 calories of, of fun um, most days, but yeah, typically right around 1500 calories and then I know that, that I only have that to work with for the rest of the days. But for what I use app-wise, I use MyFitnessPal. It's a great app just to track pretty much anything you can think of. They'll do macros, they'll do calories, you have community forums, things like that to kind of keep yourself encouraged personally. I use the uh, calorie portion of it, obviously, and then I use the macro to kind of see if I'm way too over, uh, over on the carb side for the day. I'll have to focus more on the proteins and the fats for the rest of the day to kind of equal that out. So I think a good rule of thumb is you know try to keep it maybe 40% carbs, 30% protein, 30% fat. That's a, that's a rule that I've kind of used. Again, find it however you want to make it work but that's how I've used it and it's had pretty good results for me. So that if I know I'm at 45% carbs, I'll try to hit my protein goal um, after that. So maybe like, uh, I'll try to get that up to, to like 35. And then if I get to like 25% fat, then that's totally fine. But a very good idea or concept to grasp is try to hit your protein goal first. So you wanna like, on the MyFitnessPal app, you'd probably want to hit your protein goal before you hit your carb goal and your fat goal. Now, the best way to track what your protein goal should be, it's, it's your weight in grams. So I'm 187 pounds right now. 
um, I would take 187 grams of protein per day in order to um, level out my, my weight because protein does increase your metabolism and keeps your, your, your strength up um, a lot longer as well. Now the sixth way to lose weight naturally is by taking pictures weekly. It could be anything from three to two to one time a week. Personally, I like to just do one time a week. It just gives me a nice idea of how I've done that week and I put the weight I'm at so that I know by February 27th, I was 187 pounds and I know exactly what I look like, front, back, and side. So I kind of get an idea and I can keep myself motivated because if I look back seven weeks ago, I would see a much different picture of myself because, you know, it's, it's, uh, we always get out of, of a funk or we get into a funk or out of one. And it's nice to see where you came from. Now the seventh and most likely the most obvious is setting a goal. You have to set a goal in order to know where you're even going. Now people that have no navigation system, a goal, have no idea where they're gonna be going for the next couple hours or days or weeks or So having a goal gives yourself a perfectly defined sense of where you're supposed to be going. And when you know where you're going, you are gonna get a lot faster versus driving around the wrong streets for a couple hours even though the destination could be 12 minutes away, you've now taken three hours to kind of take all the detours because you have no idea where you're going. So set a goal, commit to it, take action daily. Please, please, please accomplish your goals. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. That does allow us to grow our channel a lot faster and, and can reach more people like you who are wanting to lose weight and be more successful in their lives. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good one.